a major announcement to tell you about this morning in the auto industry. Nikola is partnering with General Motors to produce their new electric Badger truck. As part of this deal, GM gets an 11% stake in Nikola, that stake worth about $2 billion. We had the chance to sit down with Nikola's founder and executive chairman, Trevor Milton, and GM's chair and CEO, Mary Barra, this morning to discuss the partnership, that stake, and a whole lot more. Nikola, if you look at the amount of, uh, of battery consumption Nikola's going to do, along with the CapEx that was required to build the Badger, General Motors was the perfect fit. I mean, we're talking about, for inside of Nikola alone, we're, we're looking at over a $4 billion savings in battery costs alone. And then if you think about the producing the Nikola Badger, the whole world's been waiting for us to tell, tell them who's going to be building the Nikola Badger. Well, that's General Motors. They have the, one of the best manufacturing facilities in the world, some of the best engineers on the entire planet, validation, testing, homologation. And with doing that, there's another few billion dollars. The idea behind this was is to leverage people that, were, that are experts that can get us to market quickly, get access to validated parts, and also help us save money in an exchange. We're able to bring someone in like, uh, like GM, help them unlock great shareholder value. And I think that's what today is all about is, uh, is clean energy for the future, unlocking shareholder value. And that's, uh, I, I love this kind of stuff. This is what I live for. Mary, your, your company is getting a $2 billion stake in a fast growing EV company in Nikola. Um, but I think investors may be reading the tea leaves this morning saying, what does this mean for GM's in-house electric vehicle operations? And I know on last month's earnings call, you said anything's on the table in terms of even spinning off uh, GM's EV operations. Have you talked more to the board about that? And, and might we see that happening in the not too distant future? What we're focused on is creating an all electric future. And this announcement is very important today because it shows another, it shows a very strong validation of our technology, our hydrotech fuel cell technology, as well as our Ultium battery platform. And so this is the second uh, company to say, you know, we want to leverage that technology because we think it's the best in the industry. So we're very excited. This is advancing our all electric future for our own um, EV programs. This will help all of us by uh, getting scale more quickly, being able to uh, get the efficiencies and take the cost down so we can put more, uh, you know, really strong EV products into the marketplace. And so we couldn't be more excited. We also found a natural partnership with Nikola. Uh, we, we shared the same vision of getting to that all electric zero emissions future. And the teams have already started to talk and work together. And I think it's going to be a very strong partnership and collaboration. Mary, when you look at how investors are betting big on EV right now, they seem to be doing it with electric vehicle companies and not so much with legacy companies like your own. I mean, you take a look at Tesla, now the, one of the most valuable companies on Wall Street in terms of market cap, more valuable than GM. Trevor, we've talked about this before. No real meaningful revenue yet for your company until probably next year, yet your market cap surpassed that of Ford over the summer. Mary, when you look at that, are investors getting it wrong? Are they perhaps underestimating um, the value of a GM when it comes to electric vehicle production? Well, I think when we started our conversations with Trevor, he does understand the technical capability, uh, the manufacturing capability that General Motors has. And we're dedicating all that to uh, you know, building an all-electric future with the Ultium battery platform and our, our fuel cells with Hydrotech. So as we continue to uh, demonstrate to the world that we have industry-leading technology that is for zero emissions and for an all-electric future, I think we're going to be able to unlock substantial value. Trevor, it's mentioned uh, several times, and you just mentioned it too, the word validation, validation in parts. And, and I think we've come to know you and, and get to know you here. In many respects, there are a lot of naysayers uh, on the street regarding Nikola. What do you think this deal says to them? Well, I mean, look, I think the number one focus we have is to deliver. And there's obviously a lot of naysayers. That's okay. That's, uh, that's you know, it's good to have those naysayers out there because you don't have a balance in the market without it. You need those people to ask questions. But the, the great thing about Nikola is when we went public, we promised everyone three things. We, you know, we said, look, we're going to bring you one of the biggest orders you've ever seen in electric vehicle history. We're going to bring you a partner for the OEM Badger, and we're going to bring you a partner in the hydrogen stations. Now, we told the analysts we'd have that done by the end of the year. We had it done in less than almost 30 days. We move at speeds very few people in this world move at. I, 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 it's very rare that I get you know, more than six or, you know, five or six hours of sleep a night. I'm working the rest of the entire time. And this is the stuff I live for. I mean, look, the thing that sets Nikola apart from everyone else is the fact that we understand how important partnerships are. 
Our biggest competitor does everything in house. When you talk about the, you know, the the if you look at the Nikola Badger versus the Cybertruck, or the Nikola, um, you know, the Nikola uh, semi truck versus the versus our competition, we believe that it's all about partnerships, not about doing everything ourselves. And by leveraging GM's supply chain validated parts, their manufacturing process, not only do we get the Badger on time and a truck that would be better engineered than we could ever even dream of. But we also get access to those batteries, which, you know, for GM, we're 30 or 40 percent less expensive than what we could do it for. And so if you think about it, that's over four to five, you know, over four billion dollars in, in, in savings alone. So these leveraged partnerships are absolutely what makes Nikola special. And for those, you know, for those people that are critics, look, we blew past our two benchmarks in the first, you know, first month or so. And I mean, our, our, our last one is coming soon. So, you know, look, every time someone get, uh, bets against Nikola, they get burned. So my, my, my belief is, is the future's bright for EV and the future's bright for Nikola and the future's bright for GM. Mary, somewhat lost, uh, I think, a little bit in this discussion is uh, GM also now involved with Nikola's semi-truck business, the commercialization uh, and helping Nikola get these trucks to market. Getting involved in that market, how does that shape GM's financials moving forward? Well, we think it's a tremendous growth opportunity. We have been investing in fuel cells and we have a partnership with Honda to, to continue to develop fuel cells. So being able to uh, expand the markets where we can commercialize fuel cells is a total uh, growth opportunity for us. So we couldn't be more excited. And it also steps closer to having a whole nother uh, uh, space in the mobility uh, uh, landscape that is going to be uh, zero emissions. Trevor, you were saying that you'll be able to get these these batteries from GM at a at a more attractive cost. What does that mean for the for the uh, consumer at the end of the day? Were you able to pass along those costs to the consumer? And also give us a feel for what pre orders for the Badger look like right now. Yeah, it's a it's a big deal for um, for being able to pass down the cost. I mean, look, the electric vehicle space is going to get um, aggressive in time. So we all know the prices are going to come out come down. There's only a short period of time where you can leverage the high prices of electric vehicles. If you look at Porsche, their you know their their their, their Taycan is like upwards of almost two hundred thousand dollars. Well, you can buy a Model S for under a hundred, right? Well, now a lot of that comes from the expensive platform and the in the expensive batteries. The thing with GM is is that we're going to be working with them on sharing platforms, sharing parts, sharing batteries, and with that, we both get the economies of scale driving that cost down. And the and the idea is to get of a Give a two hundred thousand dollar truck for that hundred you know hundred thousand dollar price range, you know we're we're below that, and that's our goal. And if you can if we can do that, we're gonna you know we're gonna continually drive that down. The Badger's doing really well. We're gonna be announcing some of the numbers probably prior to Nikola World or in some of our next filings. We don't know yet, but this I was really focused on this announcement. I didn't want to clutter it with other information about like numbers and everything else. The idea here was is it was all about the Badger has a home. The Nikola chose who that OEM is. We can leverage GM's uh, all the GM's platform, the, the the battery, the fuel cell. These these guys are the best of the best. I mean, Honda's using the the fuel cell with GM. They got billions invested into this. This is billions less we have to do, and we have a fuel cell that can go in the Badger right now. It's not about like a two years more of validation or two years more for batteries or driving costs down. This relationship and this announcement is probably one of the most important announcements in the electric vehicle industry. I think. In, in, in the last few years. This is huge. I mean, this is everything. 